hey guys welcome to another block tech tips today again i'll be showing you another fix with the pc now in some cases um you'll have an issue where you're hearing um some beeps from your pc normal cases is three beeps so you'll hear beep 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 and you'll hear a long pause and then it will start again beep 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 now those are what we call the um, bios beeps they basically um indicate or can indicate when there's an issue with your pc and the issue with that is that it will cause the PC not to start up, right? Um, you might not understand those beeps, and but what's happening is that it's basically self-diagnosing and telling what's happening. Three beeps usually means that there's something wrong with the memory modules. Now, different manufacturers will use different um, standards. So, for example, your beeps might be two or it might be a different number. But normally, it's when your PC is beeping. So, for most, it's just that three consecutive beeps are paused and then they keep repeating now the PC will not stop until you deal with the issue so in most cases what I want to do if you're getting those three beeps is to check your memory modules as you can see here I have two now in case you have two one of the first things I wanted to do is to take out both of them all right so I've removed one in case you need to get a close-up of this it looks just like this might be a different brand might look taller these case these are the new ones they're very short i'm gonna put this aside please remember to hold them by the side if you also have an electrostatic wristband please wear it at this time so you just remove both clips to the side they slide right up and you remove them all right now in most cases what might happen is that this these are bad all right so either both of them um, is defective or just one but you'd have to figure out which one but the first thing i want to do is to clean the slots down here so what you can do is actually just blow into the slots. All right. And what would happen is that any dust or debris that gets in here that might be affecting the ability of the RAM to actually communicate with the uh, motherboard, you can remove the dust. And it might just be a dust issue. But just in case, we'll put in one stick of RAM at a time. All right. Try to keep holding by the edges. All right. Um, this way I found to hold them is something like this. So just carefully hold them by the edges, don't touch the chips here, right? What you want to do here is if you're seeing one or two on um, the slots are A and B, put it into A first uh, because they are population rules. So you have to put them in a um, specific order. If it's two, just put both of them in any order. So if it's just one, you need to populate the first slot first, all right? So you're going to slide one back in, all right? The memory is going to lock into place like you see here. And then you're going to try to power up the PC again. Now, if you continually hear the three beeps, it just means that, guess what? This one is probably bad. All right? So in such a case where you try again and you're still getting the beeps, it would mean that this module is most likely bad. Now, so for some of you, you'll be lucky and it will just automatically um, boot up. All right? That means you have figured out that, guess what? It's one of the memory modules. All right? But still it i wanted to go ahead and test again so to be sure just make sure you test both of them because sometimes both of them might have been good and it was just the dust all right so i take um take out one and then again i wanted to put in the second one all right and then of course try to boot again if it did not boot this time and the problem reoccurs it means that this one is bad so you can show this one away and so revert to the other one however if both of them work it means that it was just dust then you're gonna put back both in and it should work if you work both in and it's still not working it might be a bad slot that might be the second slot so you might just need to avoid that slot all right um if you just have one memory module you would not be able to do this so you have to go out you can bring the defective one with you to a computer store or if you buy stuff online you can check out um the type of memory right most cases it's either you're using ddr3 or ddr2 or maybe there are newer models out by now and you need to buy one of those so you can take one of these into the store it'll give you a new one and you just basically put it back into place all right um the beeps as well could mean other things um in most unlikely cases like you're just building a new pc and you're having this issue as i said it could be the memory right so that's the first suspect i would go for in other cases it might be that the cpu is either defective or seated badly or it has shift so you might need to actually remove the CPU and then reseat it. By reseating, what I mean is that you actually disassemble 
make sure it's aligned properly and make sure it's aligned. Remove it, put it back in, reapply thermal compound and actually put back in the, um, the heat sink and so on. Um, I've encountered this when I'm building new PCs sometime. I made that mistake and that was the reason why. Or it has uh, just shifted. You could also try resetting the motherboard by either removing this battery, keeping it out for a minute and putting it back in. Or you can use the jumpers over here, which is a jumper pin, and just switch it between the two pins here and then put it back in the original place that will actually reset the PC. Alright? So guys, that has been a quick look on how to deal with um, BIOS or POS. Um, BIOS beep so your PC starts up but will not boot up fully and then you're having issues where you're hearing weird beeps like beep 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 and you can't figure out what's wrong so this is how you go about troubleshooting please remember to subscribe to the channel also if you like this video and it was helpful please leave a comment or like this is recorded from Block Tech Tips saying goodbye